Today's cash out video is going to be a special one. We are gonna play the full freeze super cut even super witch crown challenge together. So you play all the four stages. And I'm gonna show you why the golden deck, which I showed yesterday, is the strongest deck in this challenge. This will be a real long video. So if you guys wanna support this channel and wanna support me, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also give fat fabs up on the video if you guys wanna see more videos like that in the future. And also make sure to put in create a good modern shop. Really, really appreciate it. I would say let's dive up to the games and let's use the best deck and dominate this challenge. So guys. This is the deck we're gonna use today. This is, in my opinion, the best deck. I already crushed this challenge. The last time I did this, I all like took an hour and I didn't lose any game. So let's do it again and let's destroy our opponents. So basically, in this challenge, as you guys know, we don't need to win every single game, but we like to win every single game. But you just need to get as many crowns as you can. The first step in the first stage, we need to get the nine crowns. So three wins, three free coin wins should be enough. And honestly. I felt like the challenge was quite easy. Let me know in the comment section how this challenge worked for all you guys. And you guys want to see that more often. You guys want to see this more often that I'm like showing decks. And the next video I'm doing like an extra long XXXL video playing this deck. I think this could be a really cool format. Um, but yeah, as if I see like a ton of people are liking this, I will do that for sure more often. If I see nobody cares about this, the video doesn't get as many views as normal videos, I will do it again. So make sure to give feedback. And also watch until the end because I'm going to show like every single game how to play this deck in perfection so it's kind of interesting the opponent is not going to play anything so this go gold in the pocket maybe already gave up getting the free coins early on or like the free yeah getting the free coins early on is really great super witch just so op and we already got the first free coin after like one minute honestly that's insane two more free crowns to go to complete stage number one good luck so i think i got like it uh, besides like three or four games on the other account, I got like just free crown wins. I feel like uh, early on, I really want to speed this challenge, speed run this challenge, kinda, and wanna um, wanna get this as soon as I can. I'm just go for the super witch here. So I'm gonna go golden first. But normally I wouldn't really suggest it, but I'm just gonna do it because I think our opponents aren't the best. If he's like a really good player, okay, um, it might hurt. So I'm just gonna skelly king now at the bridge. He goes with a good zap, I guess. So the problem is I don't really want to use my ability from the skelly because it gets, gives him a ton of um, hoggies, but I still want to use it because I feel like it's still worth it. So I'm just gonna go for a tornado here. Please kill everything, it's just insane. And that's the thing, if your mother witch, no it's not a mother witch, if your super witch survives, it's absolutely crazy, we're getting on tower. And what I'm gonna do right now is just go play Baby Dragon in the middle just to tank for the right tower and then I'm just gonna use the ability. The ability comes out and we're actually I think, I don't know if we won this game already, um, yeah, I think we did. So this time it took more than one minute, it took like one minute 15, but still another free coin win. 6-0 guys, this is what I want to see, this is absolutely fantastic. Now we're playing against Louis King, one hour, so good luck to him. I mean, this is like kind of the only discussion I really had, I really think this deck is the best deck. People are also saying E-Giant, but like I beat E-Giant 90, or like 1% of the time because I didn't lose a single game with this deck yet, because I feel like E-Giant gets, like, E-Giant doesn't really have too much HP and it gets really easily countered um, by Tombstone. But only really disadvantage is Tombstone against the Super Witch, as you guys can see. So, this kind of problem, right? Um, with the Super Witch. So, um, it really sucks against... Um, it, Tombstone really sucks against it. So, good sub in like Cage if you want to. So, I mean, I'm just going to use my ability. We still have a good counter push. What I'm going to do right now is just going to nade this into... Oh, that, that would have been a good nade if you also had the Bomber. But I still think it's fine. If you get a Hoggy out of this... The Hoggy will tank, and I think, yeah, this might be already tower down. It's just crazy. Every time we have a Super Witch on the map, we get the tower. I mean, he has Executioner now. Executioner is cleaning that up. Really nice, but still, um, yeah. Okay, what are we going to do now? I mean, I'm just going to go Bomber in the back. I feel like I need to Baby D here. Let's see if he's pressuring or not. He is, okay, I'm just going to Lightning this. This is completely fine. Lightning is coming down. And I think also, yeah. The good thing is lightning um, doesn't kill um, Super Witch. Lightning plus Nado does. Lightning plus a single tube shot does. But if you let that starting against um, that you against the Super Witch, you could also think about using the good old rocket. But I personally prefer the lightning because I think there's a ton of executions also. So like the lightning tornado combination is just so good. Also splash with the bomber. I just feel like it's better. So I'm just go for Skelly King here. I'm just gonna baby doing. Oh, bro. Why are you playing Harry Potter, dude? This is not what we want. <laughs> the 
This is not what we need. I'm just gonna use the ability now. Okay, we get the ability down at least. I don't know if it's worth it if he has like any splash. And he has the bomber. I really think it was the smartest decision. I'm just gonna go golden back now. Why? Because I wanna get a free crown. I don't really care about it. If he gets one crown, it's fine. I'm even like maybe thinking about letting a crown go. Like a tower go, but it feels like. <laughs> Okay, we go for Skelly King on top of that. Skelly King comes down. This is great. Okay, let's see. What is he doing now? Oh, can you stop with this bombers? It, it, like every time I play the NATO in the second in the same time he plays like another troop. Okay. Okay, let's go for my lightning here. What a lightning. What a lightning, guys. Can we get the free crown? But I think we don't. Stop wasting my time, dude. No, he's wasting my time. I don't get a free crown win. That's unfortunate. So we need to turn two more crowns to get the first stage done. The only real thing I don't really like about this um, challenge is that I feel like it's just a bit too casual. Also, the rewards are in two gate, which I suggest to Supercell already. Please let me know what you guys think about this idea. Is that you bring like in the first four days an example of the challenge? You bring like this challenge that is maybe better rewards in general. And like in the next four days, you bring like a mini global tournament, but just with Super Witch. So you need to have Super Witch in your deck. And. I feel like it would be a really cool idea, like a super rich global tournament. So we first you got like a casual challenge, and in the second, um, you got the you got like actually the competitive challenge kind of, which is also good for like casuals. Maybe you could also include an emote if you get like 16, 17 wins with a deck uh, with the super rich. I think it would be really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. So let's go for a tombstone here. Good things with the tombstone actually. Normally a skelly should go in front, so kind of get the souls for the skelly king. This is what I like to see. I have my Nado selected. Nado Skelly King is actually so good. Okay, uh, I'm still gonna use the ability, I guess. Oh, that's even better for me. <laughs> that's honestly even better. Because now the ability actually gets so much value. Okay, I don't really think he's the best player because he just used the cannon against my Skelly King. So I feel like also letting that go and just going for the, the Super Witch behind that. I mean, normally I would think like he has Super Witch instead of the Archer Queen, but he has also the Archer Queen, so... That's interesting. So we have the golden plus. Okay, he's gonna fireball lock this, but he knows hopefully that fireball lock is not killing it. So he spent a ton of elixir. And as long as the super witch survives, I'm fine. Broma here. Please, please. Oh, she survives! Spawn more bats! Spawn more hoggies! Go! Go, girl, let's go! <laughs> Okay, that's not good. I'm just going to now Skelly King and the bridge. Because I feel like he has not that much elixir. But I don't have like, please play something like skeletons. Thank you, dude. I'm just go lightning. Oh, I could have lightning predicted on our top of his... I didn't hit his archer queen, but I think it's fine. Okay, I just need to cycle to a lightning. I'm just going to Nado here. I'm just going to Tombstone. I'm just going to Bomber. I need to cycle one more card, and that means basically we completed the first um, step, the first stage of the challenge. Was quite easy to be fair. The good thing is, you know, the, the kind of bad thing is that we had to play one more game as I wanted. So we're going to Lightning this. And as you guys are seeing, now we actually got the first stage done. Quite easy. I mean, it's for sure the easiest one. Um, but I mean, like, every one of you can do this challenge. If you're not the best player, it's just about grinding. If you're not the best player, you, like, you cannot lose the challenge, right? Just about getting the crown. So we got the first stage done. And now let's play the second one. So, guys, we are going into the second stage. 12 crowns needed four games, hopefully. So, good luck to Poop. Just go luck. Just go for Super Witch in the back. Okay. Um, lightning. Okay, that's actually really good lightning. We're already in a spot where we can work with the Skelly King at the bridge, especially because he just used his log. This is looking so good already. This is looking so good already. I'm just gonna use the ability now. And I feel like this could be a really fast free crown win. This is what I want to see. We want to get this fast, speedy, free crown win. Baby Link is coming down and this is the first free crown of the day. No, not of the day. I mean, on, on the stage. Stage 2 GG's. Next game against Loco. Good luck to him. I think about just going golden first play because I just want to get the win. Hmm. Golem in the back. Let's do it. Let's just do it. It's not normally how do you, how do you play deck. Normally you want to be a bit more passive, but uh, he knows how to play the game. He plays a super witch in the back. Um, I'm going for my own super witch. Mm 
Baby D. Okay. And for sure not the optimal Valkyrie replacement. Bomber this. I mean, gonna nade this and also gonna bomber. Maybe the bomber was a bit too much like spell value. If he has fireball or something, we're dead. Oh, but maybe he doesn't. Just go another Skelly King. It's just insane. It's another free crown win. Let's go! Let's get it. And also, another fun fact with this deck is even if you lose games, you always get fast free crown wins. So instead of like winning like every single game 1 0, you're losing sometimes maybe, but also you get a fast free crown win. G hi, good luck. Okay, I might just go for another goal in first play once again. Maybe I'm gonna wait. I mean, I'm just gonna go Thompson here. Let's just set it up and kind of like bait something out. As he does here, and then now I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna go gold in the back. Interesting decision that he goes in opposite line of the tombstone. This is quite surprising. Yes. Okay, it's fine because now I can just go for my super witch on this stuff. Let's go. It's kind of annoying that the golden knight does what the golden knight does. It's actually. If you would say it in normal language, uncool. It's not cool. Oh, thank you for not killing that. I'm just going to Skelly King up as a lane. Okay, maybe the Skelly King was <sighs> too good. Or at least if the Mega dies, I mean, Mega just almost dies. This is crazy. This is crazy if you think about it. Mega is dead. The Mega Knight just died from a 1 HP Super Witch. And also, Bayou Dang really is really bad against my Skelly King. So. Okay, baby dragon, I'll just go tombstone here. What a horrible tombstone placement. If we get a connection, it's fully deserved. He deserved that, that was horrible played. Um, you should have played one tile higher. Yay. Or like one tile lower. Then she wouldn't have um, charged up again. Okay, I could have think about lighting that, lighting A to finish it off, but I think I don't need to do that early. I'm just gonna go bomber on top of that. I'm just gonna instantly go and lightning this. Hmm. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I got the ta one tower, I will win this game, but I want to get a free crown. So, this is the most important thing. How do we free crown this guy? Um, Golem? Oh, bro, this Axie, he's so much splash. He has so much splash against me. He won't win, but it's annoying. Okay. Bro. Okay. Let's go baby ring like this. Okay. Using my ability here. Nado like this. Whoa! This Nado was insane! I'm just going for another super witch. If you get the two super witches on the map, you normally won this game. And we actually... I mean, he had executioner, he had baby dragon, he had princess, he had a ton of splash, but still, three crown win. So guys, three crowns, we need three more crowns to finish off the second stage also, so... Yeah, this is kind of our goal now. Good luck to this guy. Um, don't have golem starting, don't have tombstone, so maybe I'm gonna wait, but also maybe I'm just gonna cycle baby dang. If he if he plays like a super witch, I might just golem. Also, keep in mind you also always have the super witch in cycle, so this is an interesting play. Um, giving me like a ton of spell value. This is where I like lighting more than rocket, by the way, because this is a really like a play which a ton of people are doing. So if he's supporting this, hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna nado this, right? Like, there's no point for not nadoing this. Okay, the good. They're always like the interaction with the super, which is insane. That always like one piggy tanks for all the stuff. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Boma. Skelly King. Du, 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 du. Okay, I'm just go gold in the back now. Gold in the back. What's the plan now? What is he gonna do to respawn? I for sure I'm going for my super witch. Like the question is, am I able to freak on him? I really want to freak on him. Maybe go offensive. 
Maybe go offensive, please. Okay, I'm just go for a NATO here. Okay. At least my sword, which, like, NATO is so good. People always, like, ask me if, it, if they could use arrows instead of NATO. I mean, you could, but I feel like NATO is so good. Okay. And so helpful. I'm just gonna use my ability now. I think this is it. We completed also stage number two. Let's go. So as you guys can see, stage number two is also complete. We get another gold crate and now we are going to stage number three. So I think we need to get 15 crowns now. So maybe five wins if we are, like if we get lucky. I'm just going for baby doing here. I mean, it's fine. Like, what is this expo? So what what the heck is this expo? I'm just gonna super rich opposite lane in case he has rocket. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna use the ability here. <laughs> so, why are you playing Expo of Poison? Who the heck is playing Expo of Poison? Okay, it's fine. So, I might just go golden now in the back. Try might just go golem now in the bag. Okay, I've seen everything in my life. What the, is he a bot or what? <laughs> Bandit and goes at the same second at the bridge. Okay, I'm just gonna save the tower. Let's go. And now I'm just gonna super witch here and let's see what he does now. Let's see what he does. I hope he. Okay. Where's my tornado? Where's my tornado? We need a tornado. LOL! My bomber hits the super witch! This is insane. This is so good. So this magic archer dies and I think this is once again another free crown most like so. I mean it's like you play this is similar to a normal golden leg. You just play it similar as a normal golden leg. You want to build a huge bush and you just want to um, like get them with that normally also the skelly king super witch push is also really really good but this deck is just unbeatable here we go so i might just go gold once again in the bag i really want to get the fast wins i really want to get the fast wins so i'm just gonna do it let's see really interested to see if we're facing like really good opponents also which makes us like the game a bit harder i mean i'm going like i'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna win every single game yes but the question is, do we get like every single game a free con victory? Um, okay, that's a actually a good bomber. Actually a good mini packer. Okay. Nato. So this is good. This is what I want to see. And I think... Please... No... If he would have survived, it would have been so good. If he has arrows now, I mean, I can just use the ability. I'm just gonna use the ability now. I don't really think there's any way for him to defend. Is this going to be another free crown victory? Uh, he drops his super witch in the back, so I'm just gonna golem now. I'm just gonna play the golem a bit more in front of the king to make sure I'm tanking the super witch with my golem. Because he actually played the super witch really, really early, okay. So this might be the first opponent who knows what he's doing. This is not cool. Oh, he has all oh, he has the cards he needs. I don't have baby dragon unfortunately cycle. Okay, please kill it, please kill it. Oh, okay. It's still fine, I guess. Good purple still. I mean, he will lose his tower, but he doesn't get free con from that because of his good barbarian barrel. So the first time we're like not getting his king tower with the same push, <laughs> so we get the princess tower. But still, so much damage. What the? And that's exactly like Tomsu just fully counters it. He's gonna rage us up. Okay, I might just go super rich on the free con. Let's go, super rich. This is great, I'm just gonna go tornado this, and let's get this stuff once again.
Yeah, next game against Excel. So two more frequent wins to complete this stage. So I mean, we like in like 20 minutes roundabout. I mean, depends like how my editor is going to edit it. Um, but it's actually really fast so far. Okay, what's going? I'm just going to go golem now. I mean, it's not the best golem. But I just want to make sure sh that uh, his mother, which is uh, not mother, which is... I mean, I'm always saying Mother Witch, um, because of the piggies, his Super Witch is not spawning too many hoggies, so that's why I went Golem. Mm. Okay, Bomber. Okay, Baby Dragon. And I think this could be, with a bit of luck, with a tornado like this. Oh, what a tornado! This is another free crown win. Six HP, let's go. Am I better than everyone? One more free crown to go. So, against Alexis. So next up, hopefully last opponent, uh, opponent for stage number three. Okay. Hmm, golden back. Okay, super rich. Like the one hoggy is helping. It's great. The one hoggy is help. Uh, the one skelly is helping against the hog. If the golem is a tank, ball is actually quite annoying. Stop doing this, bowler. Please kill it. Please kill it. Let's go. Okay, let's go for now. Oh, what a horrible mini pack! You cannot play the mini pack like that. I mean, if he would have got a bit of lucky, the mini pack may would have killed the Skelly King or would have killed the Super Witch, but he doesn't. So we actually completed stage number three in like record breaking world record time. This is great. This is good. So maybe it would be actually cool to do like an episode or like to do like a video against like other Clash Royale YouTubers and trying to complete this challenge, just like this in this new challenge when they're coming in. Like in the fastest time, like against Shane and Beard and so on, would be really cool. And so attack, maybe like just doing like a trying to, uh, yeah, all of them doing the challenges at the same time, and whoever wins, like, yeah, gets the fastest time wins this challenge. Would be really cool. But now we're going to stage number four. So guys, you're in the final stage, stage number four. Now it's all about getting this emote. We want to get this emote as soon as we can. So Gustavo, we're gonna give him time. Um, Golem. Hmm. Super rich. Oh, so maybe give. Oh, where's my tornado? Okay. Oh, I should have tornado instead of bomb at the bridge. What the heck, dude? It was a horrible tornado, also. Please don't use the ability. Thank you. Okay, maybe not the best start we have ever had. This might be tough. He has so much splash. So maybe like, I think this is matcher which gets way better and double digs the time when we're able to get like a huge tornado with the baby dragon. And so on. So what I'm kind of want to do right now is just wait. Hmm. I need to go super rich here. This is actually interesting. What's going on? What's going on? I mean, here we have the tower help. Here's the healer help, but at least healer isn't as good. Oh, that was a really good bomber. Or like a horrible firecracker. And a horrible firecracker. Depends how you want to say that. Okay, I'm just going to Skelly King now in front of that. Okay. This isn't looking too bad. Let's go Nado this. Good Nado. Skelly King ability. I'll just go for lightning here because I know his super witch will die from that. And I just... Okay, maybe I didn't even hit the, the super witch. But my super witch is at king and I think... This is another win. Let's go. Five more free crowns to go. Let's go. Good luck to FC all of us. So, good luck to him. I'm just going to bomb on the back. Hmm... 
Baby Dragon. Okay, we got a splash. I'm just gonna super witch here. I'm gonna nado this. Baby Dragon puts in so much work. Please, okay. At least I get hoggies. And he doesn't have them, so this is good. I'm just gonna skaking out the bridge. Because I think it's I think it's a good play, right? Seems like that. I mean he gives us the well played. I think the baby dang placement was actually horrible, so we're gonna get both towers <laughs> in the first push. Woo! Okay. I mean I wanted to nado that, so I was like here, okay, let's nado that, but it's actually a tombstone not a nado because it just uses an offense. Or like here in this bridge battle. Hmm. Bomb on the back. Baby Dragon. Okay. Did he give up? I think he gave up. This is actually really nice of you. Thank you, man. I mean, he's like, okay, I'm not gonna waste some time. I'm just gonna give him the, get him, give him the free crown win. And yeah, because lose, uh, lose are uh, like earlier than anyway. We're just going to the next one. GG's. Well played. Next game, they call me Kev Balloon. Is overpowered. Hmm. I don't. I disagree with that. So you're gonna, like, you're gonna get destroyed now. Okay. I'm just going super witch here. Hmm. Maybe it's not as smart to use a Thompson early on. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. You're really a tryhard. No, 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 no. Please kill it. <laughs> Nato. Oh, we got so lucky. We got so lucky, guys. You cannot believe how lucky we got. Like, everything died to Nato. That was actually not too bad. So he's, he looks like a good player. He actually looks like the first good player today. And he just plays. He just plays Super Witch Cycle. So if you guys want to see me using Super Witch Cycle, also let me know in the comment section. What? Yes, Pekka also. So the question is, how are we gonna defend this? Oh, that's horrible. I would like this challenge to be double exit mode, to be fair. And also, I would like to have Rage in this challenge. Yeah, I'm a bit crazy, but I like to be crazy. Um, I need some help here, to be fair. I think we lost! I think I actually lost this game. He played it so well. But I'm not gonna give up. Because it's for YouTube, right? But maybe I lost this. I lost this! This is the first game I lost in this challenge! My deck is trash! Change your deck! That's fine, that's fine. Like, I'm also letting loss in mind. That's the first loss we got. I mean, he had like a really good matchup. He also was a good player, so it's fine. We did some really horrible decisions, to be fair. We learned from that. We learned from that. I said that it's not really about losing or like winning this challenge. It's about getting crowns. It's about crowning. Okay. Sounds weird. I mean, I'm weird, so it's fine. Just go skeleton out the bridge. He used to really, like, he was, I think, okay, that's a great law, cleaning up all of the stuff. But, bro, where's your elixir? Can you tell me where your elixir is? I want to wait for the ability. Baby dragon, now I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna click it. Log out, delivery out. For sure you have executioner, man. Like, for sure, it's like the, man, like, it's kind of insane to see, right? Like back then when the Night Witch got released, everybody was using the Executioner. And now it's just like Executioner is back for this challenge. It's kind of interesting to see like some meta shifts in this challenge, right? Or like in this type of challenge. I really like this. Also in some other challenges, like the, the other cards are also better, which are normally not really used. So I just like this. Let me know what you guys think about it. I didn't see the Executioner for such a long time. At least in competitive play and top ladder, maybe you guys have a different experience. Um, on low slash mid ladder. So I'm just going for a bomber here. And I think I won. I actually think I won this. This looks so good. GG's. 
halfway through stage number four. Nine crowns left, so basically... Um, math skills means three more games. If we win three crowns every single game, three more wins would be really good. And we are actually on a really, really great time. So, I'm just gonna golden on the back. I don't care. Man, like every time, like this doesn't matter if it's a pro, it's not a good player, it's a mid tier player. Everybody just dro drops a super witch in the back and it works. I mean, okay, honestly, that's not good. I didn't expect him to have E giant. They could have expected that, that he has E-Giant when like, he has Bandit, so I should have never used my Tombstone in, in the first place. Okay, that's fine. I hope. I pray. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Skelly King in front. Hello, Baby Dragon, turn around. Thank you. Just use my ability here. I mean, I feel like Mega is the worst card in this mode. Mega just dies instantly. Like, also Valk dies. Execution is like the most solid card to counter Super Witch in general, as you guys are seeing here. Uh, Valk is dead. And I think this is it. So we need two more victories to get the final challenge emote. Let's do it. 12 crowns, six more to go. So good luck. Okay, hmm. That's actually the starting end, which we didn't really have, like, I think, at all. So I'm just going for a bomb on the back. <laughs> I told you guys! This is what everybody's doing. Once again, no tombstone in hand. What is this? Tashua, do you hate me? Uh, please survive, bomber. No. But I think it's still fine. I think it's still fine. We get so many hoggies. Please, baby, don't survive. What a horrible healer. This gives us a freak on ability. Also, because of the healer, the baby ring stays behind. Oh, okay. Never mind. No, I might. Should have played the bomber there, but I didn't expect him to have arrows. But still, we are up so much. Um, mm, hmm. Okay, that's good. That's so good. And I think actually we won this game. Three more crowns. Let's get it. Please get this final win now. So, yes, you're in a game against Spicy Games 10. Let's do it. Good luck. So, Tombstone. Just play Tombstone here. And gold. He will play Super Witch. Now it's so obvious. It's so obvious. But why am I always playing a tombstone? Nobody knows. Okay. It's like, please. Okay. What the heck, dude? I think it's it. I honestly think this is it. We actually beat the challenge in the speed run. We kind of need like 42 minutes, I guess. Round about. Oh, come on, bro. Please give up. Just please give up. Don't. You don't need to play anymore. We won this. Let's go. This is it for today's video. If you watch until now, make sure to write pizza in the comment. And also, make sure to use creator code Morton in the shop. I really, really appreciate it. And also, here is the final emote. Here is the final challenge. This is what I want to see. Challenge completed. This is really insane. If you guys want to see more videos just like that, use like letting me play the challenges and uploading a full video of that, not just highlights. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, give a fat thumbs up the video for over. That thumbs up on the video for the effort. I can't talk anymore. And I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching and make sure to use Creator Good Morning Show. Peace out. Goodbye, guys.